the veterinary profession in the UK are, are starting to rapidly expand um, transfusion medicine for pets. It's only uh, been in the recent few years that we've been able to bank, store and process uh, canine blood and really to develop systems that are very similar to, in a lot of ways, to um, human blood systems. There are lots of ethical issues associated with um, companion animal medicine and vet veterinary medicine. The main problem being that animals cannot consent um, in the same way humans can to their um, treatment. However, there are precedents in human medicine, for example, if we think about children or paediatric medicine, we have systems in place in human healthcare, um, ethical procedures, um, lots of research um, which takes account of that and tries to understand how best to protect those um, who cannot consent. But because traditionally there's been so little attention on animal medicine, we're really at the very, very early stages um, in social science and in ethics in thinking through um, how do we do this best in veterinary practice. I interviewed um, pet owners who offered their pets as blood donors to the Canine Blood Bank. I wanted to understand what motivated them to bring their pets and what they were expecting to achieve. I found that um, the owners' stories were very much um, involving the pets as family members, as, as kin, and they were often extending their own um, understandings of donating blood and motivations to their pet family members. I, it even um, appeared that owners were able to benefit psychologically from offering their pets as donors to the extent that it could alleviate guilt or obligation associated with them not having donated blood themselves. In this work, um, the owners because they were there voluntarily offering their pets as donors, they had a very positive, potentially overly optimistic view of what they were going to achieve. Um, interestingly though, through the data analysis, we were able to identify a potential for a conflict of interest between owners and their animals because the owners were able to achieve significant psychological benefits through offering their pet. And in the paper, we do raise the argument that um, we need to think carefully about the ethical significance of, the, of these types of situations in the veterinary setting. We're so excited about the results of this project and about the paper and we think what this shows is that work of this type um, using qualitative methods is possible and can lead to some really interesting findings that have implication beyond veterinary practice to human health care. So what this does, it, it has some interesting findings for, for donation, but also opens up potentially an entirely new field of research um, for sociologists and others to focus on animals and animal medicine.